Hey guys and thanks for joining me in this video. Today I'm going to be swatching for you three of the most iconic new releases for fall 2020 and this is the new Chanel Fall Makeup Collection. I have the two eyeshadow palettes and I'm going to be swatching them and comparing them to the new re-released Tom Ford Burnished Amber eyeshadow palette. This eyeshadow palette has been expected by all Tom Ford lovers. This is a re-released eyeshadow palette that was available back in 2012 and a lot of people wanted to see that released again. So I have it here. Since I already had the chance to try each of these palettes, I'm going to give you also my overall assessment of all of these three palettes during this video. If you're new to my channel, welcome, I'm Angela and I love talking about luxury, beauty and fragrances. Please make sure to subscribe and don't forget to leave me a comment so I can say hi. And if you're a regular to my channel, don't forget to tell me what you think in the comments below, which eyeshadow palette from these is going to be your favorite. Okay guys, so here we have the three palettes. So this is 362, 364 by Chanel and this is the new fall 2020 makeup collection and this one is the burnished amber palette by tom ford so obviously these are the colors that are going to be trendy this fall and i know that a lot of people don't like this kind of red colors probably it's a little bit dark right now but um, i don't want to be using additional lighting i want to give you a more realistic picture on how they look in real life so the three palettes are not identical but at the same time probably it's not worth investing in all three or at least i'm going to give you different swatches of all the three okay so let me go ahead and show you the swatches first and then i'm going to be talking about each of the three palettes because i already tested all three of them. So these are the swatches of the burnished amber. On top are the swatches of 362 by Chanel and the bottom are the swatches of 364 by Chanel. And these swatches are of the burnished amber eyeshadow palette by Tom Ford and a huge thank you to all of you who were commenting in my previous videos and told me that this is actually the pressed powder formula by Tom Ford and that's why on the swatches it doesn't appear as vibrant as the wet and dry formula by Tom Ford. So far it turns out that all of my Tom Ford eyeshadow palettes are the wet and dry formula which are very creamy, very buttery and they swatch beautifully. They swatch, on the swatches they appear very vibrant. Here if you look carefully the colors don't appear as vibrant because this is the pressed powder formula by Tom Ford. Now on the swatches when I first swatched the Tom Ford burnished amber eyeshadow palette it didn't look as good and I was not very impressed. I was almost thinking why did I purchase it but then as I start applying this and as I started using it on my eyes, it looks very beautiful and the colors blend beautifully on the eyes. So it's not the same as in the swatches. And you all know that it's not always what it appears on the swatches. So the two Chanel eyeshadow quads are very beautiful. My favorite is definitely the 362 because I think it's more wearable. Whereas this 364 is a little bit more gothic, I would say a little bit more Lucia Pica. Okay, and now let me go ahead and talk about each of the palettes one by one because I already had the chance to try them all. So let me put this one here. Okay, so let me go ahead and start with this one. This is the 362 eyeshadow palette from the new Chanel 2024 Winter Makeup Collection and this is the one that I prefer. Um, I prefer this eyeshadow palette over this just because of the colors. The performance of the eyeshadows is absolutely the same. So let's remove this so that the camera can focus on this one. And this eyeshadow palette is beautiful. Um, let me show you also the swatches. So these are the swatches of 362. It is actually more wearable than I thought. Uh, the colors look really nice. I love the matte brown color and I like the, the very sophisticated sheen that these three colors have and I think they look beautiful on the eyes. So I'm really happy with the quality. The other Chanel eyeshadow palette, on the other hand, it is a little bit more bold. So this one is 364. You can see it doesn't have a brown color. 
Now this color is very beautiful. This is my favorite color from this eyeshadow palette, but the other three colors, you have to like red on the, on the eyes in order to like this palette. So these are the swatches of 364 and this color is the one that I really love and enjoy very much. I also like this color. However, this palette is definitely more bold. The quality of the eyeshadows is excellent. It is the new formulation by Chanel and they have improved the quality of their eyeshadows a lot recently. And let's move on to the tone for The colors are a little bit more powdery. The Chanel eyeshadows are more creamy, whereas the Tom Ford eyeshadows are definitely more powdery. In terms of performance, I like all three of them. The performance is excellent um, and I don't have to use primer with these eyeshadows. I usually don't use primer. I rarely use primer on my eyes and the eyeshadows perform very beautifully and they are quite long lasting. So the main difference here in terms of quality is that the burnished amber eyeshadow palette, these two colors are quite powdery and there is a lot of fallout when you start applying them. Whereas the Chanel eyeshadow quads, 362 and 364, they don't have fallout, so they apply very easy. So if you don't like to have fallout, maybe this one is going to be a little frustrating. Um, and specifically this color has um, quite a lot of fallout. The, these two colors are fine, they don't have fallout. So overall, if you're not into red colors and if you're not into gothic colors, I would say go for the Tom Ford Burnished Amber Eyeshadow Palette because it is the most suitable for everyday use and it's the colors are just very easy to use. And let me show you. Now, if you want to achieve more subtle makeup look, I would say go for Burnished Amber because this peachy color here looks very beautiful on the eyes. It doesn't show up a lot on my arm as when I swatch it, but it looks beautiful on the eyes. And you have also this beautiful brown color and also this color is very pretty and it's it's quite easy to wear. It's not the typical red colors that are scary. So let me go ahead and show you on the swatch. So this is the Burnished Amber by Tom Ford and let me just zoom this once again so that you can see all of the swatches. So definitely don't forget to tell me in the comments below which one would be your pick and which one you like best. I think that my favorite is this one because I'm a Chanel lover, but this one is the easiest to wear. Now with this eyeshadow palette, I know that a lot of people will create amazing looks with it. But I just, um, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the red colors, to be honest. I'm not a huge fan of red colors on my eyes, even though this eyeshadow palette is surprisingly easy to wear. So just to let you know, today on my eyes I'm wearing Burnished Amber by Tom Ford. I really love this eyeshadow palette. In one of my previous videos, I was comparing Burnished Amber to Honeymoon. And I was almost a little bit disappointed that the Burnished Amber didn't swatch as vibrant as the Honeymoon palette. But when, once I started using it on my eyes, I have to say that I really love the colors. And the colors actually appear very vibrant on the eyes. So it is a very easy to use everyday palette. You can create also a statement smoky eye. If you are looking for this kind of colors, I would say that it's definitely worth the investment. And probably I would say that even it's a, a little bit more wearable than the Chanel eyeshadow palettes for those of you who are afraid of the red colors. But still, if you want to be trendy, during the fall season. So the colors are very easy to blend. I didn't have any issues blending the colors. They are very easy to blend and they look quite vibrant on the eyes. Thank you so much for watching this video with me and don't forget to tell me in the comments below which eyeshadow palette is your favorite.